Hey, what is happening, muchachos? Hold up. Let me put you guys down right there. So, guys, we are going to begin this video exactly where we left off on the last one on the BZ wagon. It feels amazing to have a car once again, man. Look, man, I can't lie, you know, getting around town with the lift and the leg of these bands, man, was getting freaking old. Now, your boy can go anywhere he wants as long as I have a full tank, you know. But actually, this video is not going according to plan. So, usually, you guys know the routine. I'll train my clients in the morning. Then I have a little bit of a break. Usually, in that break, I do stuff. I train. I usually eat out. But today, guys, I guess eating out is going to be out of the question because your boy forgot his wallet. But lucky for me, I was able to scrape up five dollars this will be enough for me to get i guess a little bit of a snack but the problem is guys the busy wagon is hungry as well i have to make a decision right now it's either i feed the busy wagon or i feed myself so which one's going to be food transport food Alrighty. can i get five on Man, damn it, dudes. You know what? The reality is starting to hit me. Even though with a car, I am more mobile, I can go to more places, man. I realize there's a lot more responsibility. I gotta put in gas, gotta wash the car, gotta service it. Man, you know what? Honestly, life was a lot easier when I just had my legs and my skateboard. how much I need one and how little I need one as well because look before I lost my ride the first time I used to drive everywhere even if it was just like a block away from my home I was gonna drive there but then once I lost it obviously I lost that luxury so I had to start riding Coella a lot more and I gotta say man I was pleasantly surprised at first I thought it would be more stressful but actually me riding my longboard almost everywhere it actually helped me big time with stress because I guess it's the exercise, me being outside, me getting in that good prana it just helped me reduce my stress so that is definitely one thing from that college lifestyle that your boy is gonna keep man maybe I'm gonna still keep that hippie lifestyle a little bit you know what I'm saying? another thing I'm gonna keep doing is of course keep training with the rings You know what, I think it is pretty ironic that literally a few videos ago, I was complaining about how much I hated faster workouts, and yet here I am training in the fastest state. All because your boy forgot his moolah. I forgot my wallet. But you know what, I still stand by everything I said in that video. I still don't like training in the fastest state. I would prefer to have something before this because even though I'm a few exercises in, it doesn't really feel right, man. I will still prefer to have some food in me. But you know what? It's all good, man. Because for me, I'd rather get in a faster training session than get in no session at all. That is all she wrote, man. I ain't got nothing left in the tank, man. All I could do was two push exercises and two pull exercises, cause man, I ain't got nothing left. So in my last video about workouts, I asked you guys what you guys thought about fasted or fed workouts, which ones do you prefer? And it seems like the responses were split between you guys. 
half of you guys said that you load faster workouts another half of you said that you were useless you didn't have any food in you and honestly i'm in that second category man if i had a little bit of food before i worked out i probably could have done maybe even six exercises today man but you know what it's all good i got in some work i'm good to go i can just make it up later in the week and even though today's session was not perfect i totally understand that that's how life is sometimes you might have the perfect plan but life has a funny way of getting in the way of things man and i feel like one big quality that you can have to be successful in anything in life is the ability to adapt So after the workout guys, I had to go back to work to go train my second wave of clients. But now I am back at the Casa and I'm currently preparing my only meal of the day, Zoodles. So obviously I'm not gonna only eat Zoodles. That's gonna be ridiculous. That'll make my calories super low. I'm gonna make some other stuff. But I've currently been fasting for almost 24 hours. It's currently 9.30 right now. The last time I had a meal was at 10 p.m. the previous day. And I gotta say, I feel pretty good right now, man. I feel pretty full of energy, I'm pretty sharp. I'm not moody, my mood is good. Yo, excellent day, man. And right now I'm also sipping on some sodium water. So I put some pink Himalaya salt in here because I do know that when you do very long fast, even though you can do without the calories, water is still very important. And also you need your electrolytes. So put some sodium in there to make sure I'm getting those and that's probably why I'm feeling pretty sharp right now because it's kind of weird. Himalayan salt kind of acts a little bit like a stimulant and I probably should have had this before my faster workouts because it also helps you with pumps and it also helps you with muscle contraction. So maybe in the future, whenever I'm doing a fast workout again, I'll have some pink Himalayan salt before I train and just test it out, man, because I've never done that before. So. You know me, man, I like to experiment, but when I do, I'll let you guys know the feedback. But anyways, oh, also, good news. Your boy got his wallet back. We got moolah, baby. All right, man, so, man, even though eating one meal a day is cool and all, right, you can do it. I prefer to eat, man. I prefer to eat like two, three times per day. This literally was just by accident. So dudes, it's looking like my full day of eating has turned into a full day of barely eating anything, man. So this is probably gonna be all I have today. I have 12 ounces of pork on here. I got 200 grams of Zoodles, zucchini, but I also put in one tablespoon of sesame oil and I got 90 grams of rice. Oh, I gotta be honest too. While I was cooking this, I had two peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. So technically it's not really one meal a day, but it's pretty close because I had that like 10 minutes ago. And then last but not least, I'm going to have this after I eat this. This is uh, True Teen Red Velvet Protein. Oh my God, guys. This protein powder is the best tasting protein powder I've had in my entire life. I love this one so freaking much, man. The only thing about it is that, you know, the macros are not super excellent. It has about 20 grams of protein for about 140 calories. Usually I like my protein to be a little bit higher around like 25 27 but the taste more than makes up for it man and then with that dudes that's gonna be the video one meal a day by accident now i see why a lot of people like this style of eating because look eating one meal a day it just makes life so easy all you gotta do is just go throughout the entire day not eating anything and then eat one meal and as long as you don't binge during that meal you're probably gonna lose weight because it makes it super easy for you to maintain your caloric deficit. I know there are a lot of videos out there that say the growth hormone, this, all this stuff, the insulin, all that is fine and dandy. But at the end of the day, this stuff makes it easier for you to eat less, which will lead to weight loss. But on the flip side, if you binge every single time, you do one meal a day and you have like 5,000 calories every night, ha ha! You're gonna gain weight, man. Even regardless, even if you fasted for 20, 24 hours, man. So anyways, dudes, I'm about to sign out. But before your boy goes, I do wanna say one thing, man. I wanna give, again, a big thank you for every single person that has purchased the Tower Shred. Really, it's amazing, the support. I'm just like, wow, flabbergasted, man. And because a lot of you have joined the Shred, 
I want to start a new hashtag on Instagram. So I know a lot of you guys keep sending me emails. A lot of you guys that you know got on the Tower Shred are already thanking me. Uh, I want to be able to track you guys' progress on Instagram. So if you're on Instagram and you've listened to my advice, you've seen progress watching my videos, put in your pictures the hashtag T Shred. That way I can see you guys' progress and we can look at the community together. That way we can all get motivation and see everybody getting in great shape, man. So peeps, man, again, thank you for everybody that got the ebook. If you haven't gotten the ebook and you want to learn more about fat loss nutrition, Link is going to be in the description box below. And your boy is going to sign out, dude. So, peace, man. If you like this video, you know what to do. Go ahead and give this one a mm, thumbs up. And if you are subscribed to the channel, yo, go ahead and subscribe. And dudes, dudettes, always remember this, guys. Always strive to improve. Even if it's just a little each and every single day. Kaizen. See you guys in the next video. The day after next, 7 a.m. PST. Peace.